I can't make this shit up. What up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. This freaking flashlight is in my eye. Oh. Um, but yeah, man. Back at the gym, guys. As you can see, it is 4.03. We at 24 hour fitness, man. Let me see if I can cut this. All right, there we go. You probably can't barely see me, but drinking the rest of my pre-workout. Today is the last day, guys, I actually do pre-workout. So, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to get learn how to get back into having that natural energy because I really rely on pre-workout way too much. So, this is, this is the last part of the pre-workout. So, I want to stop doing pre-workout to see how it goes. Hopefully, it goes good. Because it tastes good. Um, with that being said, man, today is back day, guys. Uh, I'm not going to do really a, a fitness video, but I thought I'd start the vlog early before I talk about what's next, as you see in the title. Uh, I just want to have a little heart to heart with y'all guys because me and my wife, we had a, a, a not a conversation, but kind of like a uh, uh, I don't even want to say intervention. It was a good something I seen from her perspective, man. And I never, that's one thing me and my wife don't really talk about. Like, guys, oh, it was somebody at her job, something dealing with her. I don't want to put that business out there like that. So, with that being said, like, I, I made a comment, like, man, you when you think you're going through a lot. It's always somebody who's going through something 10 times worse than you. And that's why I try not to stress about a lot because at the end of the day, you got to think about this, guys. At the end of the freaking day, you're not going to be here. So what's the point of stretching? Stressing. I know a lot of us, man, and me personally, I overthink a lot of stuff, right? And when I overthink, I overthink in a negative way, right? So... But then at the same time, I have morals of life for myself. Stuff I would not do, man. So um, just who I am, just what I stand for. So I would rather be at my lowest before I do something I don't want to do. And that's just what I stand for. And that's why I teach my kids too, because that's the way it should be in life. And yeah, I'm not going to go in detail, but some people who know exactly who I am know what I mean. But we were just talking like, damn, there's always somebody going through words. And my wife said, yeah, that's why I stress. Don't stress out. I tell you day by day. Um, and then we just, as people, we sit here. Oh, I put this A and D ointment on my tattoo. As people, we sit here and um, we stress about stuff that really you can't control man you gotta put it in one person's hands and and i don't want to say i don't know who's a believer and stuff man but you gotta put the faith in god's hand now some of y'all might not believe in god but that's up to y'all you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna discriminate who you believe in and all that stuff that's 100 percent to y'all and i respect that at the end of the day um but she made a comment she said everything gets better Believe it or not, and it, it and it really does, man. If you believe it or not, hold on real fast, guys. All right, guys. So, hold on. Let me get me. Let me get straight. Like I said, man, you gotta be a believer. I just want y'all to sit and think about like all the things that happened bad to you, and y'all overcame it. It's just the problem with uh, being a human being. It's just the problem with being a human being. Hey, baby, how you doing? Man, y'all leaving early? Damn. Got in and out. Got in and out, huh? All right, see y'all tomorrow. It's just... Huh? Oh, he's that light skin. There's something wrong with him. That's a, I thought that you know, the No, that's the light skin the black guy. I think that's on the box truck. Yeah. There's something wrong with him. He was screaming at it. So, what's up, what's up? Yeah, same thing around with you. 
for sure. But yeah, guys, so more of the story, man. Just have faith and don't overthink stuff. That's the problem. We overthink way too freaking much. Uh, overthink way too much, man. Just gotta have faith, keep praying, and just get by it, man. Stuff, so, like, I'm a huge believer, stuff happens for a reason. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to say that because I do overthink stuff in a negative way, but that's what I'm on right now. Um, and then when I when I get to a point where I tell y'all what's going on, I tell y'all what's going on. But until then, I'll let God take his course, you know what I'm saying? So enjoy the video, man. Love y'all. Guys, remember, everybody goes through something. And what you're going through is a little bit what somebody else is going through, man. So and we're not all here forever. Remember that. We're not all here forever. We are not all here forever. So just enjoy the little life that you have best you can, man. The meal. What did she say? It is like chicken waffles. That's a little water. different. I need to know how you come to that conclusion. <laughs> it's the ideology at the end of the day to educate somebody. I don't even think you use that word. <laughs> I, I don't know if you did that. It don't sound like you did. Well, it's education. It sounds like the, you, the way your headphones look is how you seem like you use that word. I can't now. hear. Oh, okay. okay. You use Ray J's headphones. But what I'm saying is to, to be knowledgeable on everything. Like if you broke down what it was. There you go. While you're serving it. Boom. Then you give them the education that Boom. they need to understand it and love it. And there so it you doesn't go. go viral wrong. It goes viral right. I'm smart. So let's talk about it when we come back. You smart. Ray J is here. I guess who's. And it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Man, if y'all don't listen to the Breakfast Club in the morning, man, y'all need to, bro. Uh, it's a it's a topic they're talking about with a um, a certain school that uh, I haven't been to the store in a minute, bro. Uh, a school that provided. Okay, so what I plan on doing, guys? So. As you see in the title of the video, man, I'm selling the actual, hold on. So, as you see, guys, it's official. I need to put this, I thought I sold this pallet jack and I need to get rid of these tires and this trash today, some kind of way. All right, so I am selling the single cab, guys. Yes, it's official. Your boy is selling the single cab, man. Um, doing something better. Really, in my future, guys, I really want to start uh, uh, I really want to start I want to own a, uh, a what you gonna call it? A gym. So that's what my mind process is right now. Only that. I gotta get rid of these tires. Don't know if they're good or not, but they gotta go. Uh, gotta get rid of this dolly, and I gotta get rid of this pallet jack. So I'm gonna put this dolly on sale today. They did a pallet jack. I also don't need. Ugh. All right, so I'm trying to see how much room I have in here because I'm gonna put the box in. I'm not going to set a box shape. So I'm trying to see how much room I have in here because what's going to happen, guys, the, the single cab, hopefully one day I do sell it, but I'm going to bring that to the crib. Um, the box Chevy is going to come in here, and I'm just trying to see how much room I have to put stuff in here. So I'm going to put probably um, my thing I got built right here, probably stack the tires like right here. And then of course, box Chevy goes right here. So that's my plan. I haven't been in the storage in a minute because this is where the side-by-side -side normally goes. If, if y'all remember, so yeah. So this is trash. Gonna put this actually in the front. But let me, um, Take pictures of this dolly in this pallet jack. Okay, the guy who bought my actual box truck, I was trying to give him this pallet jack. I gave him the one 
inside the truck, but I was really trying to get him this one too as well. But um, shit, he didn't want it. He said he don't really use it. So I'm gonna put it up, take pictures, and just post it on offer up or something. Dirt cheap, so yeah. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna head to the other stores, see what we have over there. And just try to picture what I need to move. I know I got a crap load of tires. Oh, uh, shit. I might actually get rid of some tires, too. So I know I want to keep the Hellcat tires. I have my wife. Uh, and this is just eliminate, just to eliminate one uh, storage, bro. Because honestly, I'm paying $600 a month for two storages that I really don't need. So. Oh, your boy was recording on 10K. Hell no, bro. 10K, not 10K, uh, 4K, yeah, 10K. Hell no. Four, uh, that, that 4K take up way too much memory. Man, I know this mug is completely dead, bro. So I'm about to see, get my jumper box. I haven't been into this storage in a long time as well. Uh, but this is the storage, guys. I'm actually going to try to get rid of. It's going to take me a little time due to the fact my daughter will be traveling this month. Uh, it's harder because I don't have my actual box truck, bro. That's not my, not my box truck, my box Chevy. So that's the hard thing. So this mug right here is for sale. I am going to post it probably on offer up Craigslist. All that stuff today. I made a post on Instagram. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I gotta take it to get the leak fixed in the back. Um, what else is wrong with it? The AC stopped working. It's the thing underneath the hood. I need to take those four Giados out for the box Chevy. But yeah, so I gotta get all this stuff to the other storage. And I might take some of this stuff now. But a lot of this other stuff is trash. Take that, put that in the far back. And I got all these tires. It's not a lot. It's more trash than anything. Uh, but the box Chevy, yes, could go there. I need to put the Forgiados on there, which is right here. So, yeah. Um, seats and all that stuff. So, I might actually sell these seats now since I'm not going to keep the box. The actual box Chevy. And then I have a lot of stuff that goes with this damn car, bro. You know, try to, I'm just trying to picture some stuff, guys. So that's why I'm quiet for a little bit. But yeah, let me jump this mug real quick. I want to take these rims to the actual other side of the storage. Because I could put these on that car so I could drop it. And then when my boy Jose come, we could take that to the other storage. But the goal, to be honest... Is to get all this stuff. Is to get all this stuff gone before I actually do that. So I mean, throwing the trash away, organizing everything, and I can utilize this truck to do some of it. You get what I'm saying? So I think that's what I'm going to actually do, uh, and just leave the trash here. Come back, get the trash, and just go forward from there. So. Uh, pretty sure one of, either one of my friends will help me. Shouldn't be no issue. Um, yeah, this book dead, dead, bro. Yeah. Dead, dead. I don't know what I'll do with the keys. Still got the keys right there. Pop the hood. I might spend an hour or two here. I might just transport the tires today. Motors clean as feasy. All right, what did I? How I'm gonna jump this mug is the question. Uh, Y'all, give me a second. I'll be right back, guys. Give me one second. I gotta jump this mug. All right, we're gonna override. This mug dead, dead, bro. That bitch ain't even overriding. 
could uh, because it's not getting ground. It's getting wrong. I don't think it's gonna jump though. It ain't gonna jump. Unlocked. Let's see. I don't think it's gonna start. Can't believe it, guys. All right, <laughs> I didn't think that bug was gonna start for real, for real. Um, I did not think that bug was gonna start. We're gonna let it warm up. I will check the fluids. I'm not gonna cut it back off. Uh, and get it some air so it can go up in the air and all that good stuff. So, yeah, officially for sale, guys. I gotta do what's best for me at the end of the day. Don't wanna do it, but it is what it is. 25K OBO, our best offer guys, for sale, for sale. With title in hand. All right, guys, just put the actual 4Gs. Just put the 4Gs actually on the box Chevy. Stay tuned for that video. That's the next video, man. Uh, then you can get an update on what's going on with the box Chevy. Um, yeah, so y'all can see what's going on for there. Um, in reality, guys, I was about to sell both of these mugs. I ain't going to cap, but there's <sighs> something about that box Chevy I really love man so it's my it's my first complete build uh, my first complete build so don't think I'm going to get rid of the box Chevy I don't care if it takes me forever to build it I really don't think I'm going to get rid of the box Chevy man so the mug could sit in my garage for years, for years, for years. I don't think I'm just gonna get rid of that mug just like that. Because I really love that car, man. Single cab, I love it. But it just took too long for everything to transpire on this single cab, man. And I just honestly lost the love for it. So I'm like, one of y'all can enjoy it. Uh, I'm selling it for a good price. If you wanna know how much it is, hit me up on Instagram, DM me. YouTube it on the budget, man. And we can go from there, guys. So I'm gonna try to transport some of these tires. I got like a couple hours. I'm gonna try to get as many as tires I can over there. So I don't wanna just waste time, you know what I'm saying? So if I came over here to shoot the video, I wanna be kind of productive and doing something uh, on me coming over here. So uh, it's been running for an hour, like an hour. It runs right back up, okay. So we're gonna actually leave it off and see if it runs, but let me uh get into putting some tires in here. I got a handful. I'm gonna put the SRT ones first for sure, because we know we're keeping those. Um shit, I'm gonna sell these damn seats now. Don't need the seats no more because the single cab is going bye-bye. Um Hellcat tires are going first. For 
sure. But yeah, guys, I'll be right back, man. Uh, I take off my shirt and shit because I ain't trying to get none of my shit dirty. All right, let's see. I got a load in the back. Let's see this month start up. For this first load, I'll probably do like two or three more loads, guys. To be honest, lift up the rear sound. And I'm, I'm selling this. I ain't gonna cap to y'all, bro. I'm selling this single cap, dirt cheap. I'm selling this mug, dirt cheap. Like I put way more money. I know I don't have my seatbelt on. I'm selling this mug way less than what I paid for everything, bro. Like the rims and suspension alone is what I'm selling it for. So I'm basically giving it away. Uh, well, yeah, I gotta get rid of the storage, bro. I'm just paying too much unnecessary money for it. Like $600 a month, bro, that's a hard note. You know what I'm saying? Hard notes. We want the creep. But let me go to this other storage, the one that I am keeping, and hope these forges don't fall off. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me go to the other storage, man. I want to pay attention to this stuff. Though. I don't want the forges. I got the twenty eights actually in the bag, and I don't want these mugs to fall off. Let me double check. Real fast. I don't want these mugs to fall off. All right, yeah, let me, yeah, let me, let me get to uh, doing this, man. See y'all in a little bit. All right, guys, so let me show y'all what I got up for grabs, bro. Uh, so, nobody won't be confused. So, like I said, man, selling the single cab, man, formerly is known as took too long to get done. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you got 28s. Four Giottos all the way around. You got 28 by nine in the front with a two inch lip. You got 28s in the rear uh, with a nine and a half inch lip, I think. 28 by 12 with a nine and a half inch lip. Yeah, it's kind of like a reverse lip, but it's a three piece, so it can't be a 10 inch lip due to the fact it being a three piece. Six piston wheel woods uh, all the way around. As you can see right there. See right there. Those alone by itself is like 10k <laughs> the wheels another 10 to 15k the truck itself overpriced at the time 8k you know what i'm saying so you, i'm giving this truck away bro suspension work another 10k this truck really could go for 40k as is right now but i'm not selling it for that you got cow hood denali front end sunroof uh Interior is decent, you know what I'm saying? All black. Let me go to the other side. Now the AC, uh, I think it's the condenser. It is out, so it leaks. But you gotta take the dash off. I don't have time for all that. So y'all can do that when you buy it. But you, like I said, you're saving a crap load of money. Interior is not bad, man. So um, it's not not bad at all. So that's what's up for grabs, man. Uh, the mirrors flow is the S S L E, and it does say it on the title as well. Uh, suspension straight custom, guys. It's a 4.8 liter. Um, I do have a 6.0 for it. It's not fully built yet. Um, holler at me if you want it. Uh, you can either take it as is or built, but you gotta get with my uh, motor guy for that. <sighs> yeah, man. Stuff for grab, single cab, man. Step side. It was a straight side, straight bed. That's gonna be the end of me transporting. I'm thinking I'll come back tomorrow because uh, I can get more done. I got stuff I gotta do uh, today. So, yeah, man. All it really needs, man. If you want this to be a cruiser, all it really needs is paint. I ain't gonna cap to y'all. All it really needs is paint, man. So I was gonna paint it white with a red pearl. 
kind of like if you're not familiar with my uh, actual uh, box Chevy, I painted that and I try to have a picture up, but I painted that white with a uh, with a blue pearl. So that's what this one was going to be. This was going to be blood. That was going to be Crips. Uh, but once I get this storage uh, situated, if, if I don't sell it by then, this mug is coming to the house because I'm not going to continue paying $600 a month for these two storages. There's just no point. And both of these cars just sit there. So this mug will come to the actual house. And if I don't sell it, I don't sell it. It is what it is. Um, but my thing is, I mean, I might as well let somebody else enjoy it. It's a really nice truck, guys. I'm not going to catch you all It's a really nice truck. And y'all know I've been through a lot with this truck, bro. Like, a lot, man. It took forever for it to get built. A lot of people don't want to see me not let it go, but it is what it is, man. Like, I have to move on with life. Uh, shit, sometimes stuff happens in life, man. You just got to move on. So that's where I'm at in my life right now. And I can't continue to roll on these cars. Definitely when it's just going to sit here. Um, and we'll talk about that on the next video. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, man, other than that, man. I'm going to try to close the ch chapter on this car, man, on this truck. Um, sad to see it go, man. I ain't going to lie to you. It's going to hurt me. Man, what is it? It's, it's going to hurt me because just due to the fact that I've been through a lot of this truck. So, but like I said, man, a lot of y'all told me to finish it. Just no point of finishing something that I still ain't gonna want when I finish it. So it ain't gonna change my mind uh, at all, bro. Like I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I sat here and thought about this crap for a long time. And you can sit here and ask my wife, cause I told her yesterday when I posted on Instagram, I'm selling it. She said, man, I thought she wasn't gonna sell it. And I was just straight up with it. I'm like, babe, it's just gonna sit there like, just it's just gonna sit there and do it. let me get something for it and just let it go like, and that's how a lot of stuff is in life man like some stuff you just gotta let it go no matter how much you love it some stuff just ain't for you at the right time so that's where i'm at with that will i regret it most likely like i did my park avenue i regret it when i saw that but life went on but other than that man it's gonna be in the oh, video right so if they're uh, right Thank y'all for watching, man. So there you go. Single cap is for sale. It's official. Uh, this is no cap, guys. I'm really selling it this time. Like, I ain't capping. So hit me up on Instagram, like I said. Hit me up in my DM. Slide in my DM. In my own lane, doing my own thing. I'm reading the DM. That's all, folks.